This assignment type is a student annotation. And what the teacher has done is posted a PDF that you have the ability to add text to, color, highlight, etc. So as I scroll down, you'll see that it is a student annotation. And what you are going to do um, is you have a bunch of different options. You could use the arrow, which just um, is kind of like a selection key. It doesn't really do anything when you have the arrow, but it allows you to move through the page if needed. This tool here is a tool that allows you to kind of put a um, kind of a note and you can leave a comment. You also can change the color of this. So if I don't want it blue, if I want it orange, I can do that as orange. If I move somewhere else, I can add a second comment. And when I do this, if I want to change that color, I can just click to make it yellow. And so I could color code things differently if I need to. This here is a highlighter and it only allows you to highlight text that was on the page. It won't let me like highlight the text in this image though, in the key of this image. So it's just text on the paper. And again, you can change the color. So if I make that yellow, and now I highlight this part here, I can make that one blue. I can also add specific comments that I want to the highlight. So here are some highlighted comments that I spelled wrong, so let's fix that. Um, and so then that comment goes particularly with that highlight. If I want to go back to this yellow one, I can just click on it and choose that as well to add a comment to that yellow highlight. I can also delete things that I've added by clicking on the trash can. And it will ask me, are you sure you want to delete it? Just say okay. If you need to add text, you're going to click on the text icon. And you can choose different colors. You can choose the background, whether it's white. Having a white background, um, let's see on this picture right here, if I write text, I can't really see it very well because it has a transparent background, which is the red with the line. But if I choose the white one, that allows it to like stand out more that you're able to see it. Now I can go down here where I have questions that I need to answer and I can just start typing things. And it will add in different, um, different lines if needed. Right now I have the white background, but you can see transparent means I see that box. You could also change the size of your text if needed. I would probably use the small text for just general text. Um, since I kind of went over the box, it might be a good idea to put the background as white. And it might be a good idea to change your text color just so it's easy um, to be able to see. So maybe I'm going to make it blue text. And then when I click elsewhere, I don't want it to cover up the question. So I can just move it down a little bit. And then when I click elsewhere, it looks pretty good. Um, now, if you need to color in something, so on this picture, you're coloring things three different colors. Um, you can use the pen tool, which is over here, and you can use different size lines. And maybe I want to make um, this part blue right here. So I can highlight this area blue. And then if I am done coloring in with this particular color, I'm going to click the checkbox. Now, if I want to go somewhere else and color, let's say down here, but I don't want this blue, I can change the color to green, for example, and click the checkbox. Now, if I go and I change the color right now, see how this one's still kind of highlighted? It's going to change it to whatever I change it to. So I need to go somewhere else, like uncheck so I don't have that box around it. And then when I go up here, it's still green because I didn't change the color yet, but I can change it to purple, let's say, right here. So you can do multicolors. When I'm putting my text in here, it will start over in this left area. But if I go to like extend it or if I move it over, it automatically makes it pretty wide 
Um, it doesn't stay in the box completely. It goes off a little bit farther there, and that's okay. Um, you can just add in your text like that. It's not going to fit perfectly within this box here. Now, you also can have strike throughs, so you can strike through um, particular text if you need to. And then the last option is this to like make a box so you can um, highlight or like put a square around something and leave a comment about a particular paragraph and if you didn't want to like highlight it or something. Then when you're all done, you are going to press submit assignment. When you submit your assignment, you'll get the confetti and you'll have a timestamp up at the top right here letting you know that you completed and submitted this assignment on this particular date and time. So always look for that submission receipt to ensure that your submission has been submitted and your teacher will get your work. One last tip to be able to see your document better, you do have the zoom feature right here to make it fit within the window that you have. However, you can make it be your full screen by clicking on this arrow up at the top right and then you will be able to even zoom even farther so you can make this as big as you need to. To get out of full screen you're just going to press escape on your keyboard and it will go back to being within the box on your page and that's where you can see the submit assignment.